Hey guys, it's InfernoBird here, and I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 um, on a PC. Anyway, this is um, for all the Qualcomm models, the ones that are using the quad-core processors and, uh, and what have you. Um, mainly just like for the carriers like Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, you know, etc. Anyway, uh, what you want to do first is hit Menu, go into your Settings, not Search. Menu, Settings, go over to More, go all the way down to About Device, and then go all the way down to your build number and hit it a bunch of times and you'll see this little message pop up and it says hit it a few more times until you have Developer Options, which whenever you go back you should see a new option there for Developer Options. Alright, go into that, make sure it's checked on, and make sure the USB debugging is checked. What you want to do now is back out of that. Sorry, my phone died, but um, not my phone, my camera. Anyway, what you want to do is plug in your USB cable to your Galaxy S4 to your computer, and then um, it'll say installing device drivers and stuff. Go ahead and let it install. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll get back to you as soon as it's finished installing. Alright, once it's finished installing, you want to go over to this uh, zip file I have in the description below here. Uh, the download link is in the description. And go ahead and open it up. And then take this file, the Moto Chopper file, and put it over here. And go ahead and unzip it and everything for you already and go ahead and close out of this and then go into moto chopper and you'll see a bunch of files in here uh adb linux osx all this stuff this um this folder is for pretty much any computer running linux max or mac pc or anything like that but on a pc you want to run the batch folder first so go ahead and double click that, hit run, and then big shout out to Dan Rosenberg, thank you for getting this up for us. Um, he originally developed this root method ages ago for the the old Motorola's, and um, which is why it's called Moto Chopper, uh, but it just turns out that it, it works for the Samsung Galaxy S4 as well because the the uh, processors are cousins. Anyway, you didn't need to know all that, I just figured, you know, that's that's the reason why it's called Moto Chopper. Anyway, what you want to do is hit enter, and it says waiting for device, and then if you go on to here, it'll say allow USB debugging, and what this is is just like a precautionary measure just to make sure that you know, no random computer can access your phone, which is kind of a nice little security feature. Um, and it'll go ahead and root it. So success and press any key to continue. Go ahead and press the spacebar. And it'll reboot your phone and we should have a super user on there and um, you should be fully rooted. Um, Alright, so go ahead and unlock the phone, go to TouchWiz, uh, go into your apps, scroll over until you see the all too familiar super user right there. So there's your super user app and what you can do is download a, a application called Root Checker Basic to verify you have root access and go ahead and verify and the super user will pop up and in a second the little allow button down here will pop up hit allow and there you go congratulations this device has root access and if you've made it this far so do you so congratulations you have now rooted your samsung galaxy s4 please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe um, all links will be in the description 
Uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and I appreciate it very much. Take care, guys. Peace out.